Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's event is scheduled for one fall to my left, featuring Michael Jackson. And to my right, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, we get looking at one of the weirdest boxing games out there. This is Ready to Rumble Round 2. This one's coming at you at PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, and M64. How's this going to stack up? Keep watching. Ready to Rumble was an arcade boxing series, and it was a fun arcade boxing series because it didn't take the sport serious. It wasn't your knockout kings or king of the ring or any of the other stuff. It actually just said, hey, we're going to take a loose boxing, throw it in there, have a whole bunch of random characters, get some power-ups in there, and have fun with the sport. I mean, that's awesome. And in addition to having fun, they threw in some celebrities. Like I said, Michael Jackson, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Shaquille O'Neal. They're just having a good time with it. Now, what I like about this game is it is a competent boxer. I mean, you basically have a right and left for your high and low, and then you have a high and low block. Pretty simple controls. You can't really mess it up. And then pushing different ways on your stick is also going to give you different moves. Easy enough. Fun. In fact, I had, when I did, the, when I did my play along with this one, had a bunch of neighbor kids over, and then my son, we were all sitting there just duking it out, having just a good time playing this game. It is a lot of fun to play, especially in groups, especially when y'all don't know what you're doing. But yeah, the only thing I didn't like about this game is, is that if you pick certain characters, like the little alien who's original, there's another skin for basically this punching bag creature. Any rate though, with him, you could just sit there and keep jab, 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 jab. And you could jab someone out of existence. And I didn't like that because that didn't feel balanced to me. I mean, some characters can just do that and rock them to death. And I'm just like, oh, guys, you could have fixed some of this cheapness. Ah, c'est la vie. What are you going to do? any rate, though, is this the right game for you? And if you're looking for a fun, not-too-serious boxing title, one that you can just, like I said, have a party with, get around, and just play the living daylights out of, Ready to Rumble and Ready to Rumble Round 2 are fun games. I do recommend the series. I wish this series would come back. In fact, I wish they actually would have included some of the Mortal Kombat characters, too. Just as a joke. Like, all of a sudden you're playing with Kano, and, you know, they have body damage in there. Like, maybe his, his face gets dented, that metal plate gets dented. That would have been kind of cool. Of course, there's always Mama Tua who wears so much makeup. It's like, Mimi Bobek, you can't tell if you've hit her. <laughs> but any rate, though, it was a fun game. I recommend this one strongly. Morally speaking, you've got boxing. This is boxing, all right? And if you have an issue with boxing, any pugilistic uh, expectations, of nah, then say no. This is one you may not want your kids playing. Also, some of the female characters. Boxing is supposed to be a sports bra. Uh, essentially a sports bra and shorts for women and some of them try and make that sexy and i'm just kind of like that doesn't work in a ring sweetie no but apart from that though it is a pretty clean boxer and i would recommend it um moral gamer moralgamer.com remember to like subscribe comment share because we do enjoy hearing from you this has been ready to rumble round two and we hope to see you next time